And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Happy Sunday to everybody out there tracking some storms throughout the afternoon into the evening across the area. Already starting to see some storm development up in Union County as of 3.30 in the afternoon. We'll slowly see that line of storms push southeastward through the area uh, later this afternoon into the evening. Not really much has changed in the forecast over the past 24 hours. Kind of the same timing as far as Amarillo goes. Maybe see those storms start at about 7 to 8 o'clock later this evening. Dalhart a little bit of an earlier time frame. Basically, the farther northwest you are, the earlier of a the earlier of a start, the farther southeast you are, the later of a start. And really, the farther southeast you are, the less of a chance you'll have of seeing a storm move through your area, seeing how those storms do look to dissipate as they move closer to Clarendon and also close, closer to Childress and Paducah as well. After those storms dissipate, we should see a quiet second half of the night and a quiet Monday morning as we are waking up. Monday more or less the same as what we're going to see today, except even less of a storm chance. We'll stay quiet for the beginning part of the day, then maybe one or two very isolated, very scattered storms forming for the day tomorrow. The severe risk for tomorrow a little bit less than what we're going to see today. But for today, we have been issued a severe thunderstorm watch that does expire at 8 o'clock later tonight, probably when that sun goes down or starts to go down. We'll see a little bit less in the way of that daytime heating for maybe one or two severe uh, storms. So the Severe Prediction Center has upgraded the northwest part of our area to a slight risk for severe storms. The main threat we're watching out for today is some strong straight line winds. Could be maybe up to 70 miles per hour in some of these stronger storms. As far as large hail goes, that's not a primary threat we're watching today or really a tornado threat. Um, at that scene, that's a, this is more of a linear fashion of storms. It'll be straight line winds we're watching and really not all that much updraft either. So as far as hail goes, maybe up to an inch, inch and a half in diameter. So maybe ping pong ball size hail, but even then that's a little bit of a stretch, a marginal for Clarendon, Pampa, places like Amarillo as well. And then, like I said, the farther east you go, the less likely you are to see storms in your area. As far as tomorrow goes, like I said, a general thunderstorm risk for the area, um, not really much of a severe risk. And then Tuesday is a little bit interesting. Most of the area should stay dry on Tuesday, but our friends up in Dalhart and especially up in Union County as well may see the chance to see one or two isolated storms form in their hometowns maybe a little bit on the strong side so given a percentage for the july 4th still sticking with 10 percent seeing that any storm uh, development does look to be very isolated very limited as well but other than that a nice fourth of july setting up 94 degrees for a high given a 20 percent chance for the storms tomorrow 10 percent for both tuesday and wednesday now the middle part of the week's looking a little bit interesting it looks like both wednesday and thursday nights we might have some overnight activity Thursday during the day looking mostly dry than Thursday night. We'll see storms move in chance for some isolated storms on Friday as well. Going to be a little bit of an active week in the way of those storms, but we do look to calm down for the weekend where we'll see sunshine return and hot temperatures return as well.